afternoon everybody, Carl Biker here. Just time for another quick episode in the Video Editing Basics for Vloggers series. And today I'm just going to talk about resampling, because it's something I've noticed in quite a few videos on YouTube, something I used to fall foul of myself. So I'm going to start by grabbing a video that I recorded the other day. And this one is recorded at 120 frames a second. So we'll drag that into the timeline, let it process itself, switch to Movie Studio. And I happen to know there's something around this area where we'll start to see cars coming through. Uh, that's North Bar in Beverly. Now this was recorded at 120 frames a second and it's going to become a video at 30 frames a second because YouTube doesn't support any more than that. So the software decides it's got to do something with the four times as many frames as it needs. And this is the same whether you're recording at 120 or 60 frames a second and moving it down to 30. Also, if you're recording at too few frames, so you might have a camera that records at uh, the American NTSC standard, which is about 29 and a bit frames a second, but then render at 30. And either way, there's a mismatch between the number of frames in your video, in your source video, and the number of frames that are going to be in your end video. And the result is this, if we step through here, now we've got four frames in now 120 frames per second source for each frame that's going to be in the end result. And you can see on the front of the car here, it's actually merging all four frames together. You see there we've got several shadows, it's just mixing them. And that makes the video look a bit mucky, a bit dirty, a bit horrible around the edges. And when you play at full speed, it will look all fuzzy. So this will happen if there's any mismatch at all between the source video's frames per second and the output that you're going to create. Um, even if it's only a difference of, of one frame, what you'll find then is some frames are perfectly clear, whereas others get progressively blarier and then progressively clearer again. And the end result is not perfect. But it's really, really simple to fix. All we've got to do is tell Movie Studio not to resample. Resample is the, the bit of merging the frames together in order to try and get a smoother result. But we don't really want a smooth result, we want uh, crisp, uh, clear frames. So we're going to tell it, don't resample, don't mix those four frames together in this case, just pick one of them. So it will actually take every fourth frame. To do that, find your video track, this one here, and all you do is right click and choose properties. And you'll see we've got smart resampling enabled at the minute. We're just going to disable resampling altogether and then click OK. And as I click OK, just watch the preview window in Movie Studio and you'll see it immediately goes back to clear and not merging the frames. And there we go. And now if we go through frame by frame, you can see all that fuzziness is gone. Now I do that for every video. Um, because I always record at a higher frame rate than I need to, so that slow motions look better. So there you go, resampling, turned off, crisper videos. Thank you for watching, ride safe, and I shall talk to you all again soon.